you uh, recently wrote an op-ed in the New York Times, and in it you sort of quote the Carl Sagan thing that he said where uh, you said that the satellite measurements are the difference between ignorance and knowledge. So basically what you're saying is we've had 40 years of them compiling all of this data. They can look at these projections and make very real projections about what's going on, but we're still ignoring it. Why? Yeah, well, it's concerning. Yeah. You know, I mean, to me, I think that um, NASA is full of the greatest minds in human history. And their mission is to gather the information. They are not lobbyists. They are not advocates. So what they do is they then give that information to all of us, and they give it to the legislators and the policymakers. And, you know, people ask me all the time, well, what can we do to make a difference? And we can, you know, we can use solar panels. We can use cars that are electric. We can not put our thermostat as high or as low and have a kind of wider zone of comfort, right? So um, there are many things we can do to contribute, but ultimately, in my opinion, what we need to do is make sure that we are electing legislators who are taking this problem very seriously and are going to impose legislation that changes the direction of human history. Because what these scientists are saying, and I encourage everybody to read the IPCC report that came out two or three days ago, where the scientists are saying, we are screaming, we are screaming that we have 12 years to change this, and if we don't change it in 12 years, it's going to be too late. Right. That's what they're telling us. So we now need to listen to that, and we need to change direction. The good news is that we have an election coming up on November 6th, and so what I would encourage people to do is vote for people who are committed to this issue and who are going to do what leaders should be doing, which is taking us in a new direction. Nobody wanted to wear seatbelts. But legislation came in and said, you got to wear seatbelts. And now we all wear seatbelts, and it's fine. <laughs>